Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to walk you through installing Personal Ancestral File, PAF, version 5.2. So I've got this file that I downloaded, PAF 5 English Setup. If you're Obviously, if you're installing a different language, the file name is going to vary a little bit, but just go to the file that you downloaded and double-click that. You'll get a security warning telling you that you're trying to run something that you downloaded from the Internet. And so, since I trust these guys, I'm going to click Run. That's going to start the installer. I'm just going to close that little window so I don't have all that nonsense going on. In this little dialog, you're going to select your language. For me, that's English. And then press OK. If for some reason you wanted to stop the installation at this point, you could just click Cancel. For us, we're going to go on, so I'm going to click OK. It's going to start up the install shield. This just tells us what it's going to do. It's going to install Personal Ancestral File 5. So we're going to click the next button down here one time. It's going to show us the license agreement. You're going to want to read that carefully and then click yes or no. If you click no, obviously the installation is going to stop. If you click yes, you get to go on. Next we have an option of telling the install shield where we want PATH to be installed. I'm going to accept the default, which is in the family search folder. And under that, there'll be PATH 5. So I'm going to click next. And then it asks us, what do we want to call the folder within our start menu down here? And the default is Family Search. I'm just going to leave that and just click the Next button. Now I'm going to turn off some of these options. There's some options that, um, that it will do for you when it does this installation. One of them is to pull up the Getting Started documentation. I don't want to see that for the purposes of this demonstration. You may want to when you do the install. The next is to place a shortcut for PATH on, the, on your desktop. Um, I despise those. You can see that I keep my desktop very clean. I'm going to turn that off as well. You may want to keep that on there. And then the last is whether you want to use LDS information on your screens and reports. Since I have some Mormons in my family history, I'm going to leave that turned on. And I'm just going to go down here again and click one time on the Next button. It copies all the files over and then tells us that we're complete. So again, I'm going to click the Finish button. Okay, so now Personal Ancestral File is installed, so if we go down to the Start menu, we're going to see the indication when I click on that one time that new programs have been installed. So if I click on All, All Programs, you can see that Family Search was, was highlighted, and then so was PATH under there. So Personal Ancestral File has been installed. If we click on that one time, it's going to load it up. It's also going to give us some a uh, little welcome screen with some options on there and these options are all about which file we're going to open up. Are we going to search for path files on our machine? Are we going to open them because we already know where they are? Are we going to create a new one? Are we going to cancel and close this dialog or do we want help information? So at this point we've got personal ancestral file installed and future screencasts I'll show you how to do some configuration things and what go through the options screens but for now we're finished.